Hello everyone, I am James and you are watching Good Times Tech YouTube channel. Now, whenever you face problem with your desktop that it's powering on, but no display. Now, I will connect this and show you. Here you see. It's powering on. This is the default image of the monitor enter power swing mode because there is no signal from the CPU so the system is powering on the desktop CPU is powering on but there is no display in that case first thing you need to do is just check the here check this cable VGA cable if it is loose Check this VJ cable behind the monitor. Okay, if it is not loose, then check the VJ cable on the back side of the CPU here. This one. Check this one. Shake it, and if you see that that's there is some image displayed on the monitor and uh, it uh, keeps on flickering, then you need to change this. VGA cable if there is no image when you shake the cable or even if you try and replace the VGA cable and there is no display no image displayed on the monitor then check the following steps after checking for the loose connection at the VGA cable etc even if the desktop is not showing any display then all we need to do is follow these steps I am going about to show you first of all remove this bias battery and before doing this first thing is disconnect the PC from all the power sources even the monitor and the CPU as well after removing the battery, just search for the reset pins. If you don't find reset pin, then leave the system for maybe 5 to 10 minutes so that all the uh, power that is in the main board will be drained. And then later, you can fix the battery. First of all, what we'll do is check if the bus battery has voltage. Here you see it should be 3 volts it is three point, showing 3.2 volts it's good even if it is 2.9 volts just replace the battery the bias battery is good then there is no problem with the bias now what we need to do is we need to clean the RAM and insert it Cleaning was important because I think the dust accumulated in this system is maybe of few years. Let's disconnect this. Here we can access the RAM. Just that to these two locks, the RAM will, RAM will pop up, then pull it up. As you can see, too much of dust on the RAM.
we have this ramp we clean the pads as you can see some dust on this I will use a pencil rubber take it and just rub it here Okay, now the ram is clean, keep it aside, take the brush and clean this all of lot as well. Now I will insert back the ram as we have cleaned it and the slot as well. And here's the notch. This lock should enter into the screw here. Just press it gently. Okay, now the ram is fixed. Now the ram is fixed and just switch it on and check. If it does not, if there is no display yet, then what we need to do is we need to remove the processor. This is the third method. Third step. As you can see, an arrow mark here on the fan lock. Just turn it anti clockwise. All the four. Turning them anti clockwise, just pull the four locks. Okay, we have already disconnected the fan, so let it be. Now, let me clean this one. If you wish you can even remove the main board and do all this process. Now press this lock, pull it this side here in this way and remove it and here comes your processor. Now there are chances that there is some carbon formation on the pads of this processor so we need to clean it in the same way as we clean the RAM pads this way here see that the dust won't fall on the pins Can see if we are inclined like this, I can see some dots to clean it. There are some dots, so I clean it it IP. Take a clean, lint-free cloth, apply apply the cleaning solution, isopropylene, sometimes even if you can use a glass cleaning solution as well.
take the dry part of the cloth and clean it again okay clip the processor aside until all the solution dries now check if any of the pins on the processor slot are bent or not clean etc check the direction they have been placed in this take the clean cloth the pins are towards this direction so just clean it in this way do not ever clean it in the opposite direction the pins will get bent okay. take the processor and here you can see the grooves one on this side on the hair and there is a notch here which will fix into these grooves okay don't twist it close this and lock it in this way okay now it's locked take the heatsink compound and just apply it if you wish you can spread it to a thin coat Okay, now we are ready to fix this heat sink onto the processor. Let once again check that the processor is dust free. Okay. Now turn these locks as they were before this way here now see that they enter the exact holes here just pull them see that they are not locked this way they should be up they should not be in this position just pull them unlock pull them twice All the pins should enter the exact hole. Don't press them yet. First, hold here, not on this, the below, and push them inside.
here you can see the white part when they enter when this one enters inside then all you need to do is lock it in this way two three four okay now they are locked now connect this fan here this one should be here Okay, now oh. so the BIOS battery. Okay. Switch it here and press it here to the lock. That's good. Okay, now we'll switch it on and check. Now take the monitor, connect it. Here I have connected it. And one more thing is here the VGA connection. I have done it. Now let me plug it in and check. Now oh, it's on the power. The SLTS fan is making noise. Now you can see the board is booting and you can see the display starting windows. Okay. And if this method does not work and after doing all this even if you are even after doing all these things, your CPU is not giving display, there is no output from this VGA and if you are not getting any image on the desktop monitor, then all you need to do is check if any capacitors have burst in the SMPS, even the power supply or if you have any spare power supply, you can connect it and check and if and also check if that doesn't work, if the power supply is good, then try to program the BIOS, get someone to program the BIOS or replace the RAM and check. All these steps, they should work. So hope this video is going to be helpful for you in solving the no image, no display, powering on, no display problem of your CPU or a assembled personal computer. If this video was helpful for you, kindly hit the like icon, share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good time.